Penguins and Predators here on what Pittsburgh hopes will be a Monday of mayhem as it pertains to the Eastern Conference playoff race. Evgeny Malkin, Michael McCarron, we're underway here on Sportsnet Pittsburgh. And Luke Shen will take it behind the Predator goal. Sweeps it up the wall, Mark Jankowski. Penguin for a brief stint over to Sissons, comes in on the backhand, knocked aside by Nadelkovich. Dante Favreau, Novak up top for Lozon. It's found by Bovillier in front, backhander, and Nadelkovich gets a piece of that try from Luke Evangelista. Loose, pushed back by Bunting towards Rust, across for Carlson, he finds Malkin. Eric Carlson walks the line for Pittsburgh. To Malkin, looking, shooting, stopped in front, they score! Michael Bunting from his office! And a power play goal for Pittsburgh gives them the early lead! What a play, what a set of hands, goals in back-to-back -back games. And you're right, right in his office. Look, he's presenting his stick, but he's got great body position. Unbelievable hands and poise in traffic between the legs. Michael Bunting. Are you kidding me? Look at the hands, look at that play in tight on Saros. On the bench, his 20th Angel goal of the season. to play to see if there was a goal interference prior to the goal. And look, Bunting likes to get in there. I don't know what they're looking at here. Let me get a better look up top. Now, I noticed in the initial replay that Saros' stick was tangled up, but it looked like it was with his own defenseman. And Bunting's got his heels at the top of that blue paint. There's nothing wrong with what he's doing right there. He yes, lost right his there. stick, but I don't... But it's in Stastny's body, right? ...than anticipated, but we'll see what Gord Dwyer has to say. Upon further video review, it's determined that there was goaltender interference. We have no goal. Wow. He had his 20th goal taken off the board moments ago as Russell carry down low for Crosby. In front, Bunting saves so as it's loose. Crosby locks it in, and that is going to count. Power play goal for Pittsburgh, and they're up one nothing. Goal waved off. They come right back in into it. You mentioned Bunting, 20th goal waved off. I was about to say as this play was going on, he'll be in the mix. You know he's around it. And Crosby found him at the net front, and then it was like time stood still. Look at this, just creeps behind Saros. No one knows except for 87, who is behind the net. Crosby jumps. Here's a feed from Smith to Pustin. It drops it. Joseph takes it. Shot. Saved. Soros. Smith back in front. And it stayed out. You watch as this play transpired, but look who gets that puck right there, Pierre. Olivier Joseph is right up in that play. They're on their toes tonight. And the pass comes out the center. O'Connor, he's flying. Drew O'Connor off to Crosby. Back in front, O'Connor robbed by Soros. What a play. Eric Carlson, back to Marcus Pedersen. Thrust in front, it's knocked down. Now Crosby, saved by Soros. Still loose, chop back to Carlson. Bump, saved Soros. Jay finds Raquel, flips it right wing. Malkin, oh, it hit the crossbar. Soros may have got the initial piece. That next one of Getty Malkin, this close. Marcus Pedersen twists it around. Crosby out there again. Let's it go back to Carlson. He'll wrist it. Block it away by Soros. Pedersen snaps it over to Crosby through the seam. Carlson a drive. Score! The Penguins take a 2 0 lead. And it's this line. Crosby on the power play to get things started. And it's a second crack at it for Carlson from the point. I love when he shoots a puck. But look at the traffic. They're getting guys to the net of late on this little run they're on. And it's Drew O'Connor right at that net front providing that screen. It tips Lars Eller back down low to Smith. Up top, settled by Pedersen, looking deflected wide by Raquel. Here's Latang. he'll shoot, scores! He's complaining again. Getting the play to see if there was goal there at first prior to the goal. I think it was just Lars Eller's reaction to the shot coming through and swiveling his feet again. Let me ask you this, Same Army. thing. 
obviously there's a real risk here for Nashville because if they're wrong, the Penguins will go on the power play up 3-0. Yeah, he ends, but, up, he ends up swiveling here, just looking at this. He gets up right on, right on Eller. Upon well, further video review, it's determined that there was goaltender interference. <laughs> we have no goal. Okay. Relax. They've got to continue to push pace, play on their toes. One thing I like about their game is that puck possession, cycling game down low in the offensive zone. He could be and will be for this Penguins lineup for years to come. Well, Connor. As the Preds come in, Sherwood shot off the crossbar, and that deflects out of play. Talk about career years. See that 90 mile an hour wrist shot right here. Look at him just pull this thing in and rip it. Looking to beat Ned high, short side over that glove. He does a good job. He got a piece of it, you saw there. Ned always has that glove up and direct more pucks and more zone time on the Penguins, more pucks towards Nedeljkovic. They've done that already here, early part of the second period. O'Reilly shot loose in front, they score! Nyquist off the scramble, slips it in. Oh, and Nyquist continues his career year and gives Nashville some life. And just some zone play, great pass off the side right there to find O'Reilly in the slot, and then it's just chaos. Hitting bodies, hits Pedersen right there, hits Nedeljkovic and he falls back and Jankowski, or sorry, Nyquist just stays with it. Secures the top wild card in the Western Conference for Nashville. I beg your pardon, a point would do that. As the Pens go right back to work. Here's Eller. Looking in front, Smith scores! Riley gets this place rocking again! And the Penguins go up 3-1, and did Riley Smith ever need that? game for Riley Smith and it started with him up ice beating out this icing getting to this puck and they're able to go to work from there strong play by Eller to get it back to the point and look at Yossi he's hurt unable to get back into that play block the shot initially right off the start Eller will take it feeds it to Smith flips it down towards Eller intercepted by McDonough well, back it ahead for Philip Forsberg. Back in for Nashville. Forsberg shot scores. Went off Marcus Pedersen's stick and flew up over Nedeljkovic. It's 3-2. Now for Forsberg, and he just gets off on a quick break here. Look at that puck. He just kind of keeps it out in front of him and can release it from a real deceptive area. Does it hit Pedersen's stick? Yeah, it does launch off his blade a little bit, going high short side. We saw Sherwood. Yeah, this line's played great tonight. Have they ever. Five shots on goal for Sid here tonight as well. All right, third period, here we go. As Benstrom punches it back to Carlson. He'll shoot, blocked. Pedersen the key, across to Carlson, steps in, across the shot, score! Controlled by the Penguins. Look at this play. Carlson with that fake pass. Fake shot pass over to Bebstrom. What a play. Look at this. He's looking at the net. Puts it right in his wheelhouse. And there's that two goal. Pass to flex right to Lozon. Diving was rushed. Lozon eludes him. Swoops around. And Delkovic stops him. It's loose. Still loose. They take for it. All kinds of chaos, and the whistle stops play. Two pens reestablish that two-goal lead. The Preds won't go away. 20 seconds left in the power play for Pittsburgh. Bouncy puck at center. In comes Raquel, dangles in front of the tag wall by Soros. Huge stop. And this is at Latang. Two on one play. Pressured by Riley Smith. Looks him right back into the corner. Good work there by the Pens forward. Raquel in front. Latang stopped by Saro. Second time he stoned him to this third period. What a game. Final reg regular season home game of the year. 
And it's a two-point party on Fifth Avenue. The Pittsburgh Penguins keep their playoff hopes alive with a 4-2 win.